Hey everyone, hope all is well. In this playlist, we will implement a demo for user list. And in this demo, we are gonna use, Expo. we implemented with Expo, RTK, TypeScript. And also we will go through how we can create a custom components and much more. So let's get started. To create Expo project, we can use this comment, but because we will uh, we will use TypeScript instead of JavaScript. We can use a specific template for that. So let's paste this here, and we can change my app to any name you prefer. It. For example, in this demo, we're gonna make a user demo. So user expo app, and to specify a specific template, we will add dash dash template after that we will do expo dash template dash blank dash typescript enter and it will start to initialize the project i have opened the project on visual studio code and as you see here if we need to run the application we can apply this command which is if we need to run on Android, we are on Android. If we need iOS, so you are in iOS. Before we do this, let's have a look on the demo we will implement at the end of this play this playlist. So here we will fetching the users from end to point, and if the user reached the end, it will fetching the next next page, and also we can call to refresh and um, making swipe actions implementing delete functionality and also we can filter apply filtration by typing specific name and apply the filtration and at the end of the playlist we will have some discussion about the unit testing and how test the functionality with different use cases so let's back to our project and um, open the terminal, then yarn iOS. And actually, this is the um, default port to running Expo app. And I already talked before about um, the React Native debugger. Uh, I will leave the link of the video at the end uh, on the description box. So here we simply have this simple text, which is exist here. And this extension is used because we created the project for TypeScript, not JavaScript. So let's get started. One thing I added uh, here is utilities. And under that, uh, I added all the color we will used through the application so um, let's back to the demo and three things we will need to create a folder for a screen and third first one will be user list and we can create an other function and export this component. Let's return, you know, the same stuff which is here. We can return it so far. And for sure, imports are required stuff here we will need to import view and text and regarding the style we need to add it in another file to separate the style from the component and here we need to import the style sheet. Okay. 
and for sure export this one. Let's call it this user list style. And this one just style. And when we pack here, we can user list style dot container. And what we can actually do is just get rid of this and call the user list component. It will be apply the same as was before. Well, after we added yarn, um, yarn add React Native vector icons, we will need to add this command as well to. Okay, let's back to the design and start design search part first. So inside the components, we will create a new folder, call it search bar. And for every components we created, there will be two files, one for the design and one for the style itself. So here we will create search bar design file and we will create one for the style. For the design file, we will create this component with arrow function. And actually for this component, we will need three uh, properties, one for the search term and one to set this search term. Because if the user type anything here to make a filtration or stuff like that, we need to track them, the words or the stuff to write it here, right? And also we can control the placeholder. If we use the search bar on the user screen, we can change it to user search user and we can control the placeholder. So let's create a type for this. And for example, call it search bar proofs. And this will have three properties, search term, of type string and this search term. This is will be we will dispatch action of type string. So this will be react dispatch back to state set state action of type string. And the last one is the placeholder. And placeholder will be type string as well. Let's construct it here. Will be three search term. Set search term and placeholder. from search bar proofs. For the design, as we see here, there is a view and inside this, this view will have a custom style and also we will have this icon and for sure a text embed. So let's translate it into the code. We will do a view and inside this view, there will be icon and this is will be imported from React Native, and actually we can do it from font also. First thing is the style. This is style. This view will have will has a, a style. This style will. This style will be added 
and search bar file later on. We just um, define what actually we will need. After that, we will add the icon, and this icon we will this icon will has a style uh, uh, as well, and we can call it icon. And the name we need search icon. We can control the size. I think fifteen will. 15 will sufficient. Then we can add the text input. This text input will has a style. Let's call it input. And placeholder, which will be given from the properties and on it change text here we will add set search term last thing is the value and this value is search term itself okay so this is related to the design let's go to style sheet and add the custom style. So here we will add it like this search bar style. We'll need to import style sheet dot create, but this style sheet we need it from React Native. Let's create and add it like this. And here we can add all the styles we need but before we add the styles we need to export this here we will need three styles one for container one for icon and another one for embo so let's add this here one for for container one for icon and last one will be for input we will need the container to set a height for it so it will be 50 and the background color we need will be as you see here white so we can go to colors and use this one you know we can type this like this to to be informal that that is the style this one and for this to set the icon and text input beside each other so we will need to set some flex direction to p row also, this, there is a border here. Around 25. And margin horizontal. 30. We need a margin top. about 80 this is for con container for icons we will just need to add padding like padding here for example 10 for the embed itself we need to add flex to set the height and take them in place like this and we also need to set the background to be white and the color of the text we will adding will be this color we need to add this one Uh, 
well, P2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2. The height for the M bot will be 40, and the lot thing is will be margin right around 20. You just need to, to import the style. Here we need to export the, uh, the search bar component. Well, we will proceed in the next video by initialize the user uh, list design and implement and implemented C design. Also, we will consuming search bar there. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.